Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette and today I want to do a an everyday very glam look. This is very glam. This is not for the faint of heart. This is going to be glam. Some of you may go, what is happening here? But nevertheless, I get requests for this. So here we go. I have all of my makeup on. I have used the Ardell Camouflage Foundation in the color medium, the perimeter of my face, and then for the center and sort of under eye concealing and all of this highlighted center of the face area, area I used the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation in the color 250 Sand. And on my lips, I have Baby Lips by Maybelline in the color, what is it called? Creamy Caramel or Caramel, if you will. That's it. Oh, and Max by Slip Liner, because I really want to just concentrate on the eyes. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. In my opinion, I probably couldn't live without this palette. I'm going in with the color Tempura, and I'm just packing that on the lid. In light of what's going on in the world, I really hope that you guys are, if you are able to self-quarantine, that you are doing that. If not for your own health and the health of your loved ones, do it for the people who cannot self-quarantine, that work in essential jobs that can't take time off and can't be closed, like police, firefighters, doctors, nurses, people in the healthcare industry. Don't do it for yourself. If you're not worried about getting the coronavirus, do it for everybody else that doesn't have a choice but to work under these very strenuous times. Um, that has been my motto. I am self-quarantining just because right now where we live, I live in France, we don't really have a choice right now. We have been in semi-quarantine since Monday and um, it's been it's been interesting. So I'm going in with the color burnt orange right here and I'm just going to use that as my transition color. I'm bringing it all the way into the inner corner here very lightly but concentrating it mainly on this outside area. I'm going to do one eye at a time for you guys just to save yourself some time. That's why I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup first too just so that I could uh, not make this video 15-20 minutes long. So I'm just lightly going in with this and blending that all the way up almost to the arch of the brow. So about like that. The next color I want to go into is the color Rustic, which is this color right here. Same fluffy brush. And I'm going to start to deepen this outer corner of the eye, about the outer, in the crease, but about the outer half of the eye. And as I get towards the inner part, rather than bringing it down around, because I do like an, a, a more of an elongated eye, whatever's left on the brush, I'm just sort of just softly fading that into that burnt orange color. Yeah, burnt orange. This is the color Rustic, yes. I'm going to take Rustic, and I'm going to take the color right next to it, Cypress Umber, which is a really dark brown. These are heavily, heavily pigmented prod, um, colors, so I'm just sort of tapping a little bit into both and tapping off. And I'm just going to start tapping that in on the outer corner of my eye about the outer half, not even that, outer third, let's say. Keeping the color concentrated more towards the outer edge, blending that up, and then blending that a little bit in. There's not much left on the brush at this point, and that's okay. About like that. Now we're gonna take this up a little bit more, making it into the glam into the dramatic by mixing Cypress Umber now and the Noir. And I'm gonna go right in, right into that crease on the outer corner. And I'm gonna blend that slightly up. And it just deepens up that crease just a little bit. So I feel like the more color that you put on the outer corner, the more dramatic the eye looks, the more elongated the eye looks, and it's just a very pretty, it gives very pretty depth 
to the eye. And then I'm going to go back in. There's a little bit of, you can see this right in here where it's a little bit a mix of things. So I'm going to go back in with the color tempura and maybe a little bit of orange soda and just sort of make sure that that is somewhat blended in. I don't care if the majority of my lid is sort of a lighter color. It's just right in here, we're kind of establishing. These are all mattes, you guys. I'm not using any shimmers on the eye. So if you're not into shimmers, this is a great eye look for you. And just sort of blending that up and out. But it's actually very simple. This is just sort of the shape that you want. But you want to make sure that that transition color, that warm, nice, rich color, you can even use your bronzer if you don't have this palette, goes all the way into here just to give your eye, your face more depth, especially for someone like me, very flat surface here on the eye. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take back in with the color tempura, which is right here, and I'm going to very softly touch right underneath the arch of the brow and sort of drag that color down and then fluff it back up, just like that, and I am bringing that that color tempura into this inner corner here. Kind of hooking it right in there. For the bottom lash line, I do want to do a little bit of something and I'm going to take the color, I'm going to take a blend of rustic and cypress umber. Or, if you don't have this palette, just a brown. Kind of a dark brown. And looking at myself straight on, I'm going to take that right on the outer third of the eye Take a little bit of Cypress Umber in the black, noir, and bringing that up. And I want to very, very softly create sort of that winged look. Very soft, because I want my eyelashes, the drama is going to be in my eyelashes, okay? So I'm gonna do this exact same thing on the other eye, and I'll be right back, and we're done. I love these lashes. These are the Ardell Double Up double demi wispies they, they are so cool these are definitely glammy like everyday glam i'm kind of waiting they're kind of going like this because i didn't curl my lashes before i put um them on but i kind of want to wait for my um kind of want to wait for the glue to dry i know i said i wasn't going to use any mask or, or any any eyeliner but i am going to do a little bit i forgot i cannot stand to have that black eyelash just stop there and then have nothing so I am going to go in I don't want to go with black but I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow because I don't have any brown eyeliner gel and I'm gonna use a very very small brush this is the Sigma winged eyeliner brush this is a great brush you guys and I'm going to just very gently add a little bit and kind of finish off that line and drag do a little bit of an inner corner. I love that look. And what I mean by is, you know, drag the inner corner down just a little bit. I just like the way that it sort of elongates the eye and gives the eye some definition there. And also sort of blends in your lashes. I think my eyelashes are dry. Let me uh, give them a little pinch here. Hopefully I won't chop my eye eyelashes off. They just need to be sit up just a little bit. You gotta make sure your eyelashes are dry and you just give them a little pinch, nothing major, to get them to stand up more. And sometimes the inner corner wants to come undone, but let's just ignore that and let's just finish this up. I'm gonna kick it up one more notch and put white in the waterline. Or you can do cream. I like white sometimes. A little bit of mascara on the bottom. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and if you can please stay at home. If you're not worried about getting coronavirus for yourself that's fine but think about those people out there who are part of the essential services working force that are required to stay at work. Do the best that you can to keep yourself safe and keep your family members safe as well. Limit your contact with other people outside of your house and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, you guys.